All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Sam Lopez. Here it comes, Sam. Um, I have a rape fetish. <laughs> I haven't told my boyfriend because, like, then it wouldn't be authentic, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think he knows, you know, like I've raped him five times this week. I think he knows what's up. I think he knows. We're very much in love. I'm trying not to have babies. I can't go on the pill because the hormones, they mess with my head. He can't wear condoms because he's black. It's just life is hard, you know? <laughs> like, what are we doing? <laughs> life is difficult. I've been cooking for my man because I don't want him to leave me. You know, <laughs> that's what you got to do, ladies, if you don't want your man to run away. You know, they can't leave you if they're addicted to meth, right? It's like, <laughs> 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 you know? It's like, I got you. I'm your trap queen. He's not going anywhere. Um, that wasn't a minute. Oh, cool. Wow, look at that. Oh, nice. good. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Lopez. How long you been doing stand-up? Uh, it was a year this week. <laughs> that was fucking that was great. Amazing. That was great. Congratulations. Fucking amazing. Really good. Awesome. Yeah. Good job, Sam. Way to go. Way to go. This is your first time on this show? Yeah. That's awesome. You've only been doing it a year, and you already have a Cosby sweater. I know. <laughs> it makes me feel unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Sam. You really do have a rape fetish, after all. <laughs> Where are you from, Sam? I'm from Baltimore. Ah, oh, nice. You just visiting LA or? No, I live here now. Oh, mm. cool. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm currently unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the last job that you had? What? What's the last job that you I had? I was a barista. Oh. In Baltimore? No, here. Don't yeah, be I shy. Think so in Baltimore. No, I was a barista here. <laughs> Don't be shy. The last person was a waitress at Flappers. So uh <laughs> A <laughs> barista sounds like a <laughs> dream job at this point. Thank you. Where were you baristaing at? I was baristaing downtown um, at La Pan Cotidienne. Oh. I probably shouldn't say that out loud. Yeah. I don't know. Why? Oh, I just quit. Oh. Oh. Yeah. There you go. You know, I used to be a barista years ago. In fact, I met Dave Attell when I was baristaing at uh, Starbucks about nine years ago. I wouldn't call being a barista at Starbucks really fucking being a barista. Yeah, <laughs> barista. <laughs> I don't think so, dude. <laughs> when true. I first saw you, I thought you were a male prostitute. I didn't know. It's true. I mean, I was wearing a it's Starbucks like a weird apron. Kink. Breaking news, I'm a dirty hooker. Um. <laughs> Live on the Sunset Strip. <laughs> Sam, you got some good jokes. You, you're a joke writer, huh? You like that? I try. That's cool. You know? <laughs> yeah? I try. That's, no, no, I think you're doing great. Thank you. Those are some great jokes, man. Thanks. And is it a boyfriend true, or is this an old boyfriend? No, it's true. Really? How, wow. How long have you two been together? How strong is the relationship? Ooh. <laughs> um, we've been together a year, and we've lived together since, like, the second week. Ooh, wow. So it's not going Whoa. good. Wow. You so your entire career, you've been with this guy? Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> is he supportive, or he doesn't get He's it? He's also a comic. Oh, he is. Oh, this is going to last. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> 100%. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Are moved you funnier? After, moved in after two weeks. Yeah. We were that? both homeless before. Oh. oh. Are, are you funnier than him? No, no, no. He's way funnier than Has him. Has he been doing comedy the same amount of time? He's been doing comedy like six years. Oh, so he wrote, writes everything for you? Oh, yeah. He writes everything for me. Yeah, Wait, he because Jesus she's a Brian. woman? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really, was, Red Band? Yeah. I'm with you on that one, uh, feminist Jeremiah. I'm with you. That was a it's naughty It's Daisy. Question. Thank you. inappropriate. Oh, okay, <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> Interesting. So uh, that's fun, Sam. What else are you into? What, uh, what do you do when you're not doing stand-up? Um, I like to roller skate. Roller skate. Wow, Go you're, on. you're unemployed as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, I mean, that's like a ballsy thing to do when you don't have a job. I mean, when you're strapping on roller skates and, you know, sending the lace around your ankle that one time, really tightening it up. Yeah, that's the correct. Yeah. <laughs> that's ice skate music right there. 
Or wait, no. Uh, where do you roller skate? Excluded. Outdoors or at actual? I haven't been roller skating in a long time. I was home and I did a bunch of roller skating when I was there. At a Christmas. rink or outdoors? Oh, in at a rink. For wow. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Never in public. Oh no, you can. I like to roller skate. I don't have rollerblades right now, or I would be. Rollerblades roller aren't the same. Rollerblades aren't the same. You know the weird like leg things. I would dress like this in roller. It's very roller skate attire. Hmm. Mm. Do you want the cartoonist to draw you with roller skates on or no? Yes, please. That's, cool. <laughs> That's how I want to be remembered. Forget my jokes. Since this is kind of a dead part of the show, I was wondering if Danny could turn up uh, the bassist's uh, bass guitar because it's oh. off right now. There you go. I think you did awesome. Definitely that was really cool. Dead part now. When I was doing comedy a year into comedy, like I, I couldn't figure out like jokes yet, and so that's really cool that you like basically know how to do it, and I think it's only going to get way better. So congratulations, that's great. Yeah, Thank you absolutely. So much. Thanks, like Ron. Any words for uh, any any parting words for Sam? If this yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep being true to your nature, which you look like that's what you're doing. So that's a big key to the whole fucking deal. So uh, congratulations. I think you're doing well too. Thank there you go, Thank Sam you. Lopez. Everybody, you met her here on Kill Tony. She's on Instagram at the best Sam Lopez. All one word. All one word. Tony, did we cut that too short for you? Did you was there another sweater joke you wanted to get to? Or? No, no, it was just that one that I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. It looks like Brian had that sound effect ready to go. <laughs> the word one. Um, I pulled another name out of the box. You guys having fun or what? Yeah. Huh? I think they're fans. <laughs> no, this is the fan base, man. You. This is your fans. This is it. This is people love a good free show. Is it free? Yeah. Fuck yeah. I love it. We Give it up for Groupon, everybody, huh? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> well, you really wouldn't need Groupon if it was free. <laughs> but I pulled an A. This is what I thought this was going to be like. I thought it was just going to be me and you at a table, and you're going, So, Ron, tell us all about comedy. You know? No. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but instead, you oh, get to some more. You get to <laughs> <s> <laughs> 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 instead, you just get to chill, and we'll just watch and Here, man. have fun. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. I'm totally fucking in. Put your hands together for your next comedian doing an uninterrupted. He's not going to say anything mean to anybody. They just start doing stand up. Jesus well, Christ. No, but that's Tony's kink. Like shit, right? <laughs> that's what I get off on. I can't. All right. I, I Tony. Can't. Tony's dream is to take a shit on a unicorn. That's his. <laughs>